Tonight, news, debate, an opinion, an independent view. Here again, Kitty Pilgrim. Illegal alien drug smuggler Osvaldo Aldredi Davila was sentenced to more than nine years in prison on drug charges. He was the key witness in the case against former Border Patrol agents Ramos and Campion. As supporters of the agents are outraged that the drug smuggler received a shorter sentence than the two law enforcement officers who tried to apprehend him. Casey Wyan reports. Osvaldo Aldredi Davila, an illegal alien drug smuggler, was sentenced by an El Paso federal judge to nine and a half years in prison for helping smuggle two large loads of marijuana into the United States in 2005. Later, Davila appeared in the same courtroom under immunity from prosecution by U.S. Attorney Johnny Sutton to testify against Border Patrol agents Ignacio Ramos and Jose Compeon. They had previously intercepted Davila with another drug load near the border. Davila was shot and wounded after a struggle and escaped to Mexico. Ramos and Compeon were convicted of assault, failing to properly report the shooting and using a firearm to commit a crime. They were sentenced by the same judge to 11 and 12 years in prison. Supporters are furious the smuggler, who continued to run drugs while testifying against Ramos and Compeon, received a shorter sentence than the agents. How dare they compare a drug dealer to law enforcement officers? How can it be that they would get almost the same identical sentence? My husband's been given a year more. Where's the justice system here? The jury that convicted Ramos and Compeon was prohibited from hearing testimony about Davila's drug smuggling history. An appellate court recently overturned Ramos and Compeon's convictions for failing to properly report the shooting, but upheld their convictions for using a firearm to commit a crime, which carries a 10-year mandatory minimum sentence. The agents say as Davila ran toward Mexico, they saw the smuggler turn toward them with a shiny object in his hand. Davila denied that during the trial. At his sentencing, Davila called the shooting an accident, which enraged Agent Ramos's family. You've been sentenced. They can't touch you anymore. Why don't you tell the truth about Ramos and Compeon? Congressman Duncan Hunter said in a statement, the sentencing of Osvaldo Aldredi Davila offers the president yet another opportunity to do what is right and either pardon or commute the sentences of Agents Ramos and Compeon. Davila's attorney argued for an even lesser sentence because of his injuries and low rank among the drug smuggling organization. Judge Kathleen Cardone declined, saying she didn't believe him. She also discounted Davila's story that he was forced to continue smuggling drugs because he had to repay the cartel for losing the first marijuana load. Prosecutors said despite Davila's guilty plea, they received little cooperation from the smuggler in going after higher ups in the drug cartel. Kitty. Thanks very much, Casey Wyan. Well, this broadcast and many federal lawmakers are fighting to overturn the miscarriage of justice in the Ramos and Campion case. And one of the congressmen leading the battle to clear the names of the two former Border Patrol agents joins me now. It's Congressman Brian Bilbray from San Diego. And thanks for being with us, sir. Honor to be with you, Kitty. Uh, your reaction to the um, Adredi Davila sentence, uh, less than Ramos and Campion? I, you know, just discussed this May. You you know, you talk about the injustice of the justice system, it's an oxymoron. And, you know, we're talking about men and women that are along the border, you know, fighting to defend our country. And this is sort of just reflects a prejudice against those who are serving as opposed to those who are um, the predators on our society, just crossing the board, border at will, and then using um, the abuse of our agents as some way to hide from justice. We're now uh, joined uh, by uh, Congressman Dana Rohrbacher from Irvine, California, who will join us in this discussion. Uh, Congressman Rohrbacher, your um, reaction to the, to the sentencing today? Well, people need to pay attention to the details here. Uh, the uh, prosecutors uh, and now are arguing that, that Devola, the, the illegal alien drug smuggler, was not a minor player, was a major player in a drug ring, and that he did this professionally. That's how he earned his living. They never let the jury for Ramos and Campion know that. And in fact, a lot of what would, they wouldn't even gone after this guy Devola if it wasn't for the fact that information was leaked to my office originally that showed that there was a second drug deal that this man had been fingered for. That too, they wouldn't let the jury know about. So this uh, today, 
it, not only the injustice of the fact that you have these dr this drug dealer receiving a, a, a smaller sentence or a shorter sentence than the Border Patrol agents, but just the whole way this thing was done calls into question the decision to prosecute these people in the first place. You know, we do have a, um, a quote from U.S. Attorney uh, Johnny Sutton. He released a statement about today's sentencing. He was a prosecutor. Um, and let me, let me read that for the benefit of our viewers. I've been clear from the beginning of this case that my office would prosecute this drug smuggler when we had the evidence to prove his guilt. And thanks to the hard work of the agents of the DEA and DHS, uh, Homeland Security Office of Inspector General, and federal prosecutors in my office, he is on his way to federal prison to serve the sentence that he so justly deserves. Um, your reaction to that? Well, that's, not a, that's, I, that's no big, big victory for, for us at all. Ramos and Campion, these are innocent men who protected us by putting their lives on the line for 10 and 5 years uh, on the border, they're still in prison. I don't care what happens and, to that, that, and, that and drug Sutton, smuggler. Uh, and Sutton is, Sutton, Sutton is totally missing the bet of, of trying to cover himself on this issue. We're talking about a battle zone down there at the border. You realize three times more people have been killed by the drug cartel in the last six months than all the men and women in Iraq and Afghanistan combined have been killed in the last six months. And that Sutton is now trying to cover himself on this thing. These agents were serving in an area where there had been firefights with drug dealers, with automatic weapons. They were under pressure. There's Border Patrol agents everywhere. And let me just say this. This is not about two Border Patrol agents. This is about every man and woman who's down there at the border fighting to defend our country. And we ought to be standing up and making sure that this kind of injustice not only doesn't happen to these two agents, but no other agents. And yeah. make sure that we send a signal to everybody who's serving our country defending our southern border that we'll stand up and protect mm -hmm. them and not allow this to happen. We, you we know, need to hear from John I, McCain. We need to hear from John McCain. And he needs to make his position very clear on this. Mm -hmm. uh, he should be reaching out and saying, I will, I will pardon Ramos and Campion if he expects those of us who are concerned about the border uh, to, be, uh, to have faith in him that he's going to protect our national security interests. You know, we pointed out on this broadcast um, that the Mexican military or law enforcement agents have Ill illegally crossed the border 42 times since October. And uh, Border Patrol agents were held at gunpoint by the Mexican Mexican military. Congressman Bill Bray, you talk about the deteriorating situation on this border. We didn't, and we didn't give them 10 years, Kitty. We didn't take those Mexican police officers and give them 10 years because they committed a crime with a gun. That just shows you the selective realism that they have down there. And it's almost as if it's politically incorrect to be protecting the neighborhoods of America from these drug smugglers. You know, um, members of Congress have been asking since July of last year uh, for President Bush to pardon Ramos and Campion. Seventy-five members of Congress have signed a letter um, authorized by Congressman Ted Poe to commute the sentences of Ramos and Campion. No response from the White House. No response from the White House, but as I say, we are in a presidential election year. Anyone who's listening right now should make sure that Senator McCain goes on the record as to whether or not he will pardon Ramos and Campione. And Senator and how, Obama. And, well, Senator, I would hope Senator, Senator Obama, Obama, but I was, I've, sorry, I've almost written off the Democrats on this, but if he cut steps forward, I think it would be a good thing for his campaign. If he says that he's for change, then show us with some change of the way you're treating our agents at the border. Well, that's, a that's fair, the challenge. That's a fair point. Um, I'd like to um, point out that, um, a letter that Congressman Ted Poe uh, wrote to the president, and it, uh, it reads, The national attention given this case has had a demoralizing effect on the men and women defending America at our border, while at the same time it sends the right message to criminals seeking to do our, our nation harm. Um, is there a long-term damage? Uh, well, already done? we can see it every day right now. When you uh, can see it, you can see it during the Fourth uh, of July um, it, break. That I was up by Spooner's Mesa Smugglers Gulch, and the agents were telling me that snipers were shooting at them across the border. So this has already had not just an effect on the morale, but yeah. also on the activity of the drug but, smugglers. But and every the day, listen, every day, somebody in California gets raped. Somebody gets run down by a drunk driver who's an illegal immigrant. We, every day we see our kids being shortchanged in our schools or we have our health care denied us because we have to wait in line behind a bunch of illegals who are in the, in the emergency room. And every day we're suffering here because for the last 20 years we've had the wrong policy. Now we have Johnny Sutton undermining the only the last line of defense that we had which are our border patrol agents he made the prosecutorial decision 
He didn't have to. He d could decide who he would charge and who he would not charge. He decided to charge the Border Patrol mm -hmm. agents, and 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 then he wasn't even going to let the jury know that this drug dealer that they intercepted was involved in a second drug deal. Mm -hmm. I mean, this this whole thing stinks. It, it's um, that pretty much sums it up. Uh, Congressman Dana Rohrabacher and Congressman Brian Bilbray, thank you very thank much you, for Kate. joining us. Thank it's, you for having us. A serious problem for the Obama campaign. New evidence tonight for why Obama...